Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing another reaction to uh, Nostalgia Critic, and today we're going to be uh, doing a reaction to his uh, It Chapter 2. It to Chapter 2. Yeah, that thing. But, uh... Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I, I've needed this. Mmm... Coffee, it's good for you, it's good for the soul. That The first time I said that, Jordan loved it and ran with it. And obviously, as you can tell, it's on a mug, if you can see that. <laughs> so, oh yeah, he loved it that much. But anyway, uh, without further ado, uh, Nostalgia Critic in three, two, one. This episode brought to you by ExpressVPN. The best VPN there. Now he's just going over some online privacy today. Promoting his sponsor, but anyway, uh, I think the main reason why I like Nostalgia Critic is because he goes in depth and explains September why certain things are bad or why certain things are good. Version and of it is released he in sits down and actually like box office goes over it like a critic should. Critics but and anyway. audiences and made people remember Stephen King can be scary with as little Stephen King involvement as possible. Two years later, <laughs> its sequel is released. Will it have the same impact as the first one? Can it actually Ooh. make a giant spider scary? And will it erase the everlasting awesomeness of a Tim Curry performance? Not to give away any spoilers, but no. Oh, God. I'm Nostalgia Stack, and welcome to Nostalgia Ween. Oh, yes. Again, all of his skits are great. I just... Something about him. Alright, Critic, what do we got? <laughs> we have enough cast members already. The chart <laughs> says clowns are hot right now. Popularly or sexually? Sure. <laughs> That's why we need to incorporate this one into the show as much as possible. <sighs> All right, I'll try my best to make him feel at home. Hey, uh, just so you know, we'll be filming in five minutes. Oh, Critic, one more thing. Yeah? When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? No. Oh, we could get woke points with the progressive demographic. How? He could identify as Cloud. We'll just be ready in five minutes. Well, this is it. Your big moment. It certainly is. Ah! <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? What else? I'm here to show you how you can be the creepiest clown you can be. By randomly jump scaring into rooms? The more I do it, the more people win. Exactly. I got brilliant. Why? Because he stole it from me. Ah! Ah! What? I'm just sitting here. I know, I'm just scared of clowns. What? Look, Rusty, not to toot our own horns. <laughs> But we've made a lot of money over the years. Yes, when people think scary clowns, we're the first things that come to mind. So we're here to give you a few pointers. Okay, you about ready then? <clears throat> oh no, 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 no. You don't want <laughs> any of their help. Well, I might. No, you don't. They're like Happy Meals. They're fun at first, but they're slowly destroying you. And the clown's a little scarier. Oh, he always ruins our fun. Yeah, let Terrifier here figure out his own strategy. Okay, what is your strategy, Joker? Well, I was thinking more of like a slow burn, you know? Take my time, build suspense, get into a person's psyche. Let the weight of a truly disturbed mind get under people's skin. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, <laughs> Joker film was good. I don't know about scares, but you got the funny part down. <laughs> oh, Pinky, you got it all backwards. You have to have a million jump scares. Loud, obnoxious music. Constant movement with goofy faces. And of course, turn into some sort of giant monster that goes blah, 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 bl
this happen? I thought um, you two hated each other because you did things so differently. Oh, that was the old Pennywises. The new Pennywises were glove and glove. Yes, the truth is we listen to your criticism. We put more focus on the imaginative insanity that killer clowns can <laughs> offer. <coughs> Cool. And you fixed all the other problems? <laughs> Magnify, which I don't, and we made them worse. And longer! Well, chapter one was a little over two and a half hours long. Chapter two is nearly three hours. And that's just chapter uh. two? How long is this book? Short by Stephen King's standards. You know, we tried up into your standards and we still get flack <clears throat> for it. Yes, it's more crazy, more entertaining, has more of an identity. What the hell is wrong with it now? Well, Could you imagine if two ends worked together? There's several different elements that we can go over. Wait, Dear don't we God. have something we need to shoot? It's okay, I speak in reenactment. Ooh, that's a tough language. We open 27 years after the first film as a deeply complex gay couple are approached by a very well-developed street gang. Nah, <laughs> just kidding, they're all stereotypes. Thought we heard some gay. We don't like that there gay duff drowned deer. <laughs> well, Meg Ryan called. She wants her wig back. Oh, I get it. This takes place in the 90s. No, no, it takes place in 2016. Who makes Meg Ryan jokes in 2016? I don't know. Is this how gay guys talk or whatever? <laughs> Maybe in a Lifetime movie. Who the hell even are we? It just opened up on us. We're not main characters or anything. Look, let's just snap because that's probably what the writers think that gay guys do. Good idea. Good job, honey. Thanks, sweetie. Now let's walk down this dark alleyway after insulting some obviously violent people. Their attack, though, as one of them is beaten savagely. Yeah, well, I... I can't say that line. You have to say it. I don't want to say that line. It's in the script. Do these writers know any gay people? Clearly not. Now let's hear it. <sighs> well, I still hate your hair. <sighs> I know. I'll punch myself out. He's tossed over the bridge where a hungry Pennywise finishes him off. <laughs> Wow, so which of the Losers Club was that? None of them. Well, which one was he related to? None of them. Well, how does this relate to anything? Well, it's so I can leave a message from Michael. You see, he listens to police scanners now to hear if any crimes have a killer clown vibe. Well, why didn't he just leave the message at his house or kill someone in his family? Well, then we wouldn't get that amazing Meg Ryan joke. It's funny if you imagine me afterwards going, ah Actually, it is. How does he do that? You know, stop being my training wheels! So Michael summons the rest of the loser club who have forgotten all about the incident. Bill, a famous writer who, get this, has trouble writing endings. So, Peter, wink. Being an author and director, wink, who specializes in horror, wink, I just can't seem to get these endings right. Blink. You mean wink. No, that was so obvious, both eyes had to close. Why even have me in this? No one in the audience knows who I am. Hey, I do. I love the way you directed Annie Hall. I assure you, if I could smile, I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Beverly, who's escaped the abusive control of her father into the abusive control of her husband. Did you do something with your hair? I have to go. You're not going anywhere. Not until we discuss all the reasons why you keep terrible men close to you. We don't have time for that. You don't have time for that in a three hour movie? Well, it's more about jump scares now than actual characters, so. Booga booga booga! <laughs> Richie, who both surprisingly and non surprisingly became a stand up. Hey, so uh, did you hear the one about the killer clown who got a guy more into comedy than out? It's just that every time he hears laughter, he curls into a ball and pisses himself! Oh god, I see him when I close my eyes! who has an overbearing wife and is a risk assessor who gets in an accident. Oh, I get it. We all have ironic futures. You win at storytelling. Stanley. All right, I'm finally gonna get some development. Who kills himself in the opening minutes. Fair enough. And lastly, <laughs> Ben. John. In the series, you may remember being played by Brandon Crane and John Ritter, two people you could easily believe were the younger and older versions of the same person. But here, the actor playing the grown-up version is so painfully different, it's kind of hilarious. Oh, wow, Ben, you lost so much weight. And put on a lot of muscle. Yeah, you know, doing push-ups, hitting the gym. That's all we're going to explore with that. Okay! okay. Everybody socializes at a Chinese restaurant, but the tone is so all over the place, it flip-flops between fun and playful to intense and threatening in a millisecond. To the pathetic geeks of the Loser Club, who all somehow grew up into gorgeous, successful people. <laughs> <laughs> it's strange that Stanley couldn't make it. And how we all lost our memories of the demented hellhole that is dairy. It's not that strange. I was in a movie called Dark Phoenix, and I don't remember a thing about it. Look! Fortune cookies! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> they all have one word. We need to figure this puzzle out. Okay, no, what, the hell, what the hell? 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 Guys, can it just be an accident or a funny prank the restaurant is pulling? Fortune cookies are serious, Bev. They tell us our future. And lucky numbers. <laughs> exactly. The future and lucky numbers. You can't go living without those. Our effects budget was cut. What does that mean? I don't, I don't follow. Oh. oh. kind of cute. No, 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 no. Those are supposed to be scary. Oh, uh, um. Oh. 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 It so looks like it's really there. Whoa. 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 Bill meets at Mike's house to explain why he brought him there. So it wanted us to come home. It looks that way. Then why did we come back? Isn't that giving it what it wants? We made an oath to come back if it returned. Which it clearly wants. Besides, we were 12 when we made that oath. How many promises have you kept from that age? Promise I'd kill Steve Urkel. And? You seen him around lately? My point is, this is becoming <laughs> an obsession. This town <laughs> is my obsession. Always has been since I was a child. Uh, uh, excuse me. Past Ben here, I was the one who used to be obsessed with the town. Remember? No, you were obsessed with new kids on the block. And the town, remember? I had all the pictures on my wall. I had a picture of Pennywise with the founders mm -hmm. of the town, which went nowhere, by the way. Yeah, I study disappearances and histories of towns that I just moved to. Wow, your incredibly distinct quirk is very convenient for us. Oh, yeah. Well, clearly leaving Derry made you forget all of that. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and by the way, it's been a while since I've done any filming, so if there's any way you could digitally de-age me in a way that's not disturbing, thank you. Wait, did you hear that? What? There's no loud music or zany imagery. Well, drink this and maybe we can have a quiet conversation. Oh, nice. <laughs> Ugh. It is much easier to relate to someone and relax set. The drink was drugged, wasn't it? Yes, it was. And I must tell you about the Native American tribe who figured out how to kill it. You couldn't just tell me sober? That would require the movie sitting still and being quiet for a minute. Not that. Yes, that. Well, at least the next scene will probably be quieter. Cut to a loud football game where a little girl sees Pennywise under the bleachers. Hello. Ah, now who is this character related to? She's not even related to anyone! Look, if you're searching for logic, don't approach the guy who wrote Sleepwalkers! Yeah, if you're looking for under-explaining and over-explaining at the same time, that's more his strong point. You're not helping. Oh, yeah. oh, where's your mommy girl with totally convincing birthmark? She's off getting the best parent of the year award while I talk to a very scary clown. Oh, must be how all the adults in Derry ignore the terrible things that happen to kids. Really? Tell me more about that. We don't have time. In a three-hour movie, you don't have time. Well, it's rude to talk with your mouth full. Your mouth is. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Loser Club visits an underground play bunker that lasted all of these years. You know, like most kids made in their spare time. I brought you all here to tell you how we can destroy it. Oh no, he drugged you all! Just hold the ground and think still thoughts! No, I only drugged you. What, what makes you think that they would understand and I wouldn't? Well, you just had this sort of, I need to be drugged look about you. Well, I'm comfortable with where I am right now. You all need to find items that you associate with your childhoods and burn them in this ancient pot. I think you've had enough ancient pot already. I'm in. Yeah, me too. I have absolutely no problem with this at all. Seriously? Nobody is questioning this! Maybe you did need to be drugged. Yeah, I mean, this all seems pretty straightforward. Then let the Zelda-style side quests begin! God. Okay, so here's one of the interesting problems with this movie. Bill finds an old bike and becomes happily nostalgic. Riding this will bring back the memories of childhood. Now that's funny. Make you think they're gonna do one cliche and then not follow through with it. The only problem is, they do. Immediately after, Bill gets the hang of it and it's just like being a kid again, with all the over-the-top music just like in the last film. Every time it looks like they're above a cliché, they just end up giving you that exact same cliché. Ironic um, because they keep making the same running joke that Bill's endings are clichéd and lame. All while they keep giving us scenes that are clichéd and lame. I'll give them some credit, will you? They're making fun of the fact of how lame my ending was, where this version obviously doesn't end with a... You didn't, did you? You didn't <laughs> play the spider, did you? Will I... 
You did. Look, can we discuss this later? I should have mailed this script to Arl Stein. Hey, you had a spider too! <laughs> Die was a miniseries with Seth Green! How else could it end? Oh, oh it's we special here. You think your son just going around here? Oh, look at me! Look at me! I'm the original Dave's miniseries! Because I have this big Tim Curry clown! But why don't you? I mean, I'm me! Oh, you know what? You make your thing, we go, la, 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 Man. Yeah, I can see those points. Some of the things were kind of oh, cliche, but what movie isn't like this? What movie doesn't incorporate like words. cliches I know it and such? Looks like the works of Ralph Steadman, but it's not. It's the storybook of words. Once upon a time, there was a handsome prince and a beautiful princess. It's nice. But they were without ExpressVPN when they did their online shopping. Oh, yeah, oh no! Without a VPN, your credit card information is wide open to hackers when you do online shopping. Kids, if a hacker oh, no. discovers your information online, they can spend your money and access your shopping accounts. All because Those damn kids spending my money on god oh, no. damn But Fortnite. the prince and the princess got ExpressVPN to encrypt their online data, preventing others from sniffing their information You got it, their Doug. I'm gonna get myself so a VPN. So now they can shop online with peace of mind thanks to ExpressVPN. But Mr. Man, do they have the fastest speeds consistently faster than other VPN providers? Yes, yes, they do. ExpressVPN has server locations in 94 countries, giving you plenty of options to choose from. Apps for every device, including Windows, iOS, Android, Mac, Linux, router, and more. It's oh, easy to yeah. use children, and you can connect with just one click, like you see here. Wow. Hey, can we hear a story Whoa. about a dragon or a castle? Shut up, Billy! He's talking about the market-leading VPN rated the number one VPN service by Tech Radar. That's true. It's internet without restrictions. Securely stream or download content from anywhere, anytime. This is extremely uh. helpful. Can you say why you use ExpressVPN? I certainly can. Whenever I go shopping online, I just want to think about what I'm buying and that I'm well protected. So I can do that with ExpressVPN. It's a thing full of good. Especially when it's less God, than $10 a month it's a with thing a 30 day full money back good. guarantee. If only there was a special offer just for us. There is. Hooray! Get three months free by clicking the link in the description box, expressvpn.com slash nostalgia critic. Take back your internet privacy today by clicking on expressvpn.com slash nostalgia critic. Yeah, and it also allows you to view out content out you from get other countries, free. but I they didn't educated, tell you that. Enlightened even. That's fantastic. Now let me break out of your house before your parents ask who I am. Hooray! Go to expressvpn.com slash nostalgia critic to figure out how you can get three months free today. Hey folks, we're going to be at Grand Rapids Comic Con in Grand Rapids, Michigan, November 8th to the 10th. We were there last can't year, believe we had a I fantastic time, and we can't wait to return. We'll see you guys there. And that was awesome before all the... Jesus Christ, I almost pulled out with headset! Bill sees his younger brother Georgie in a sewer drain. That was awesome before yeah, all the It's him, shit. dumbass. All is good now. Hi, brother. I have an age to bet. There were people who prayed for late pizza. Well, that seemed out of nowhere. Hey, mister, you okay? No, I'm not. Listen, if you see a killer clown anywhere, just run. Just run! Let me guess, this boy isn't related to anyone either. No, they actually have a long, complicated history. They really, do tell. He lives in the same house Bill did. And? He saw him at the Chinese restaurant. And? I am finished talking. Why am I supposed to care about that? Well, they did order the same thing. Prince Albert in a can! Ah. Knock it off. Okay. <laughs> Just don't go near any clowns. All right, random boy I kind of remember seeing earlier? Okay, I'm gonna go to a fair now. Sure to be no clowns there. Wait! Random boy I kind of remember seeing earlier! Bill follows him to the world's most expensive fair fun house where Pennywise gobbles him up. No! Random boy I kind of remember seeing earlier! See, here's where it gets fun. Remember how you said you wanted to see more of the haunted house scene from the first one? Well, the rest of the movie is nothing but that. That is true, and full disclosure, it is a lot of fun. Literally every scene in the rest of the movie is a bunch of corny, ridiculous, over-the-top scares with absolutely horrible effects. Not one of them is convincing or scary, but they are really, really funny. <laughs> From a giant Paul Bunyan to a zombie in a getaway car to Bez's face like a hot sauce label? It's just total madness. 
by the time it gets to that scene with the old lady that the trailers made so famous, it doesn't even feel shocking anymore. It's just another pop rock in your two liter soda. Daddy, did you know that my father was in a circus? Really? Yes, he was a clown named Pennywise. Oh my god! Tell me everything! His backstory? His lore? We don't have time for that. In a three hour movie, we don't have time for that? We had a turtle on a desk. That should explain it. Well, what are we gonna replace it with? Another fake looking monster? You're already turning into it, aren't you? I had to build up the suspense of my final form. Oh, we call that dragon balling it. Me! Me! Terrifying, isn't it? Me! 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 me. <laughs> yes, that's it, that's it! Embrace the awkwardness, smirk at the cheesiness, feel it in all its curriness! <laughs> but there is no curriness. I mean you, I mean this isn't a Tim Curry movie! Isn't it though? Aren't you fascinatingly delighted at the awful hilarity of what you're witnessing before you? Well, yeah, but was it intentional? <laughs> Would you be to see it again? Maybe. Then we all win. <laughs> I'm strangely okay with that. Truth be told, when they finally get to the climax, I'm surprised how much time God. has passed because I was having so much fun. When they see Stanley's head with spider legs running around, I keep expecting to see Ash from Evil Dead 2. It feels that silly. Yeah, sorry. This is a different, goofy, gory movie. The thing? Some. But here's the problem. We're at the climax, where things should probably be wrapping up, but the movie has another 40 minutes left. What? 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 What, what the hell could we do that lasts 40 minutes? How about the exact same thing you did in the last one? After Pennywise turns into a half clown, half spider. It doesn't even feel weird anymore. Yeah, he kind of looks like Turbo from the end of Wreck-It Ralph. They have to hide how bad the effects are by having strobe lights flicker, fast editing, and a whole lot of shaky cam throughout the entire fight. And I mean, throughout the entire fight. Well, that sounds awful. You can at least see how terrible my eyes hurt my eyes. Yeah, why the sudden change in quality? Well, with the movie being three hours, I figure hand over this part to a person who knows how to do long action movies and still make a lot of money. Michael Bay? Who makes so much money with shaky cam flickering lights and fast editing? Oh god. Michael Bay here, delighting the world with- How the fuck did I get that? Because I think you can see it. Do you ever take a break from ruining things? Critic, what an ugly thing to say. <laughs> hey, come on, give him a chance. The guy who directed The Hangover is directing my film. Let's see how this fares out. I immediately hate this. A new record! Bay, you've done it again because you don't know how to do anything else. I'm okay with that. So remember how they confront their fears in the last movie and that's what did Pennywise in? Well, this one has the unique twist of copying and pasting that. Yeah, the only difference is Eddie gets axed off. Which really eats away at Rich, who they now reveal might have been a couple. Now they decide to do subtle gay writing. I love the way we're represented in the animated Killing Joke. Ah! Oh, by the way, Bev is in love with Ben now instead of Bill. I merely reported on this because the movie merely reported on this. Oh, and here's a laugh. Apparently Stanley wrote a letter to everyone that was to be delivered after Pennywise was killed. Can't imagine how those mailing instructions worked. Dear everybody who survived, so probably not Eddie. I can say that because I'm dead too. Good job defeating that killer clown. This is my bullshit way of making my death look like an intelligent, even inspiring move, which given people's reaction to 13 Reasons Why, seems pretty ballsy. Anyway, I did it so I could take myself out of the equation, knowing it would help bring the group closer together to defeat evil. I don't really get it either. I mean, I could have just met up with you guys to fight him off. If anything, my death probably brought down morale. But I want to trick people into thinking this nonsense was about something. And the best way to do that is to play half-assed motivational dribble over clips of people slowly nodding their heads. Is it working? I don't care because I'm dead. Please recycle this when you are done reading. It, everybody! Gone! And that is how you scary clown. Well, what did you think? Uh... What should I think? 
Well, you can't say it's not entertaining. I mean, the last 40 minutes drag, and sure, it's hard to actually say this is a good movie, but it did provide a lot of laughs. A lot of awkward, confusing, possibly unintentional laughs. It's hard to say whether or not this was meant to be funny all the way through. I mean, it or shaking your head like, what the fuck? To be. <laughs> but this film has the insane goofiness of the TV miniseries mixed with a budget of the first cinematic release, resulting in a strange hybrid that's beyond stupid, but beyond fun, too. I don't know what this film was going for, but I can say it put a great big smile on my face for how ridiculous it was. If that's what it was hoping to accomplish, then it got a whole lot of what out of me. But if it was meant to be scary or subtle, that's definitely not what we got here, and probably not what you should be going for. Yeah, I think you're right. Thanks, guys, but I think I'm gonna go for something a little more grown up. Oh. Hmm. You're making the right call. I'll see you out there when you're ready. Okay, you guys made bank and I want to too. Now tell me what I need to do. <laughs> now we're cooking! Oh god. Forget subtlety. Focus on getting as much attention on yourself as possible. If it seems laughably bad, it's laughably good. The more annoying you can be, the more hardcore you'll become. Be as loud and obnoxious as you want. Always make noise when you're on screen. Act like everything you have to say is important and groundbreaking, and it will be. Benito! Voila! Well. What do you think? You know what? Oh, Jesus I Christ. I might be something here. Now go out there and make the world hate you. The right way. <laughs> <sighs> now that's gonna get a reaction. Ah, it's working already. Fortune cookies are serious, Bev. <laughs> okay, so that was uh, Nostalgia Critic it, Chapter 2? Part 2! Two, 2! Two, 2! Two. Uh, there at the end with the, the one Joker that they were talking to, it's like... Yeah, I don't know. It, I guess they tried to put, like... A new age twist on it, but I don't know. It just didn't have. It reminded me too much more of like a gangster instead of like a businessman or a mobster, you know, or something. I don't know. It was just weird. But anyway, uh, if you guys like this kind of content and you'd like to see more, go ahead and leave a like and comment and subscribe. And uh, if you guys want to see. Uh, special like bonus content like video games full movie reactions uh, go ahead and check out our membership and well yeah check out our membership and our patreon and uh when you do that you also get a special thank you at the end of each and every one of our videos um we have like a list of names of people who have you know donated to the cause to be among the gods and uh until next time all y'all keep it retro out there and Bye-bye.